The Egyptian Premier League has voted to finally allow fans to attend local matches for the first time since 2012. The decision will be applied from Monday when the new season begins with 2,000 fans allowed with hopes that the cap will be increased later. Here is CGTN's Adel Mahrui with more. The Egyptian Premier League kicks off October 25, bringing great news for fans. The newly formed Egyptian Clubs Association, which represents the nation's top competition, announced that fans will be permanently allowed in. This comes after Egyptian security bureaus have been banning football fans since 2012. <laughs> There are some regulations that will be in place for the fans. They must have an online profile on Tazkati to buy a ticket. COVID-19 measures will be applied, but they are the least I am worried about. The real test for the government and the Premier League will be the first match between Al-Ahli and Ismaili. If that match is played without the fans, rest assured the rest of the league will not have fans. The two clubs have a lot of fans. There could be tension. The ECA says it reached an agreement with the Interior Ministry to allow 12,000 fans per match. COVID-19 vaccination and distancing will be mandatory. All fans will also need to have a profile on Tascarti.com, the official online ticket sales body. While the digital platform immediately activates accounts for entertainment events, being able to buy a sports ticket, though, needs some background checks first. I'm very happy about the decision. For nearly 10 years, matches have been without fans, with exception of the African competitions. If CAF didn't insist on fans, even those matches would have been spiritless. I know it will be 1,000 for each team in a single match. They must be vaccinated. I feel great joy. It would have been better if they'd allowed more fans. 2,000 fans is very little. I'd wish they started with 5,000 for each team. Then when things go smoothly, we can then jump to 10,000 for each side. But as a start, it's fine. The Premier League has passed the ball to the fans. The behavior of the fans will determine what will happen next. Egyptian fans were banned from stadiums in 2012 after a deadly football riot saw 74 Al Ahli fans dead. In 2015, the authorities tried to allow fans back, but another football accident saw 22 dead, and fans were banned once again. For nine years, Egyptian football fans have been deprived from cheering for their clubs in domestic competitions. 2,000 fans are not many and they most probably won't have the power to strike excitement in stadiums. Yet it is a very crucial step forward for a big fan's dream to return to stadiums back in full. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.